loop back in later. Welcome to everyone. This is uh, the WordPress Santa Clarita Valley Meetup. We're just north of Los Angeles. Um, we're a, a relatively new community. We've been around for a couple years, but we've been pretty ambitious. We've been growing our community uh, through doing lots of activities, lots of learning things. Our, our meetup was sort of focused on hands-on learning and teaching beginners uh, or anybody that's interested in uh, certain areas about WordPress they may not know. Um, we had two word camps, like we were crazy enough to start a meetup and then we we're even crazier to do two word camps. It's in the spring. Uh, if you've never been to a word camp, it's sort of a meetup on steroids. So there's like, instead of just one speaker, like uh, Carla today, it would be 24 speakers on every topic you can imagine in WordPress. So keep an eye out for our next one in the spring. There is um, our host is uh, Green Geeks. They make the meetup possible uh, through their sponsorship. Uh, they have sponsorship information, and I think Lynn mentioned that she joined on recently. I'm going to mute everyone just in case. We got some background noise here. All right. Um, yeah, so Green Geeks, uh, as, as I mentioned, they're an eco friendly host. They have uh, a great Twitter follow if you'd like to find out about their product, as well as uh, they do a lot of how-tos. Uh, if you want to find out more about our group, we're on Meetup, as uh, you all know. Um, you can find us on social media, WordPress SCV, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and we also have a site on WordPress.com. If you want to know about upcoming meetings or upcoming events in your dashboard, I think a few versions back in WordPress. They added the Word, uh, WordPress events and news uh, feature and any meetup that's listed, that's an official WordPress meetup will uh, appear here. So for example, our meetup is in the news and events tab today. What you'll also get is some information on what's going on with WordPress. So for example, yesterday, uh, WordPress 5.6 was released or two days ago. Um, and they have links out to a lot of news articles um, if you don't know, we'll talk a little bit about more later. Uh, usually when WordPress has a major release or a core update release, um, each year they release a theme. So 2021 was released, uh, which is an interesting, um, an interesting theme as well. So there'll be some links in the slide deck on that. I generally start our meetup with the five good faith rules. And if you are familiar with WordPress, it's, it's a friendly and open community. Uh, we're, we're just trying to help each other out, help each other learn in a friendly environment. And these five good faith rules basically mean don't be a jerk or an asshole <laughs> um, and, and try to help each other. So we did our introductions. I talked a little bit about the news and events. I'll, I'll get a little more into that in detail. Uh, and then we'll get into our presentation by our special guest today. As I mentioned, uh, this slide, um, and I'll make the slides available on the Meetup page. I'll tweet it out as well with these links in case you wanted to click in. There's a link to uh, WordPress 5.6. Simone, uh, Nina Simone, it's, it's got some interesting features. Um, it's got a few new uh, things that are really cool in terms of accessibility. It's got better video captioning. It has an accessibility statement and it looks more um, like the story, the style of um, the theme is lending itself to stories, uh, which you see on Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube. It's sort of the, the current design trend. So 2021 sort of highlights that. I don't know if you can see, can you see my browser window or are you still seeing the slides? Good. All right. So yeah, so 5.6 came out. Also uh, 2021, which I just talked about. Uh, and then a week from today, very early in the morning at eight o'clock, um, just like uh, the president has a State of the Union, the person, the founder of WordPress, Matt Mullingweg, does a State of the Word, which sort of looks back at 2020. And then they also look ahead to what's coming up in WordPress, sort of their work roadmap. They open it up to questions. Um, so it's really informative for me. I've been to WordCamp US a couple of times and seeing it in person. It's a great way for, um, to hear where WordPress is going. Um, so I would recommend uh, clicking into this link um, and signing up. You can even ask questions that if you want to record a, a question and submit it. There's an email address. I think it's askmat at wordpress.com, I believe, or automatic.com. But anyway, click through the link. You'll find out 
Um, you can ask your questions and really this is an opportunity to let people know. Also, the WordPress survey is out. If you haven't done that, that's a great way also to write about features you want to see, things that you like, things that you don't like. Again, uh, WordPress is always open and it's about democ democratizing um, publishing. So they really want to hear what you have to say and they de definitely listen. So the final two are two links that are also in the dashboard admin. Uh, from WP Tavern. They're sort of like the news hound or they always write about WordPress on a daily basis. Right here, let me see what else. Uh oh, okay. Um, what you see here is our, um, I signed up for a free account on WordPress.com a couple of years ago when we started our meetup. And um, I chose a theme that I'd never used before just to sort of learn it. And this is our link here that you see. And it's a garbly cook URL because I was too cheap to buy a domain. But what uh, WordPress.com taught me and what it was interesting, when I was back at Metro, um, I work for Metro Los Angeles. Um, I'm part of the web team. I run our blog network. We have about 15 WordPress sites and it's constantly growing. It's based on the projects that we built. Like if, when we extended to um, Santa Monica, our subway line, we spun up a WordPress site, sort of an informational thing. So we're always doing things in WordPress. Um, but way back, we were once hosted on WordPress VIP which is uh, an enterprise flavor of WordPress.com, Time Magazine, CBS, Local News. A lot of the really big uh, corporations are on WordPress, um, on WordPress VIP. But uh, WordPress.com is similar to what you get from other hosts like Green Geek, SiteGround, Bluehost. Um, WordPress.com has a free version, um, and I started to use it. Um, one of the great things to me, and, and Carla's going to talk a little bit about more, but in terms of my experience, um, one of the great things is that being on WordPress.com, you get a lot of the new features ahead of time, like the, the Gutenberg editor was up and available. Um, I like the way it, it sort of follows a, the, the Jetpack or the back end on WordPress.com on the free site in terms of how things are laid out. Um, you also see new features, like I mentioned early, like for instance, on WordPress.com right now, uh, in the admin, you have the ability to copy a story directly in your admin. I, I checked on my self-hosted install and that's not available. So all of these new features are always available, um, are always coming up in wordpress.com. So I'm a big fan. The other thing I really like is that there, you can really chat with a live person. Uh, they have a great online help system. And if you wanna contact us and go through and get help, you may talk to someone like Carla. That brings me to our host, I mean, our speaker for today, and I'm so happy to be joined uh, from Bolivia by uh, Carla Dora Medina. Uh, she's a happiness engineer at Automatic. Automatic is the company that created WordPress. Um, and again, the two, two T's in Matt stands for Matt Mullingweg, who was the founder of WordPress. Carla is based in Cochabamba, Bolivia, and she's a happiness engineer, as I mentioned, already working four years at Automatic. She provides technical support for people building their sites with WordPress.com. Carla also has a passion for writing fiction, blogging, reading three books at a time. So do you have them in your hand at the same time? I wonder. <laughs> Doing yoga and biking with her friends early Saturday mornings. The happy founder and lead organizer of the local meetup in Cochabamba has given her the opportunity to speak at word camps in Mexico, Ecuador, and Colombia. I now turn it over to Carla, who's going to present. Hey, Carla. Thank you, Joe. Right, Just go in ahead and case. Grab control of the screen. Okay, sure. Just in case the three books is related to the format, like I have one physical, one on the Kindle, and one on an audiobook. So when people ask me which, what book are you reading right now, is which one? Like, so that's okay. why. <laughs> Yeah, I, so. well, you know, there's a famous, you know, WordPress is always named after, each release was, is named after a jazz musician. And a couple of uh, updates back, it was called Rasan Roland Kirk, who played seven instrument, you know, seven wind instruments at the same time. So when you said three books at the same time, I just figured you were like Rasan. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. So, um, well, Thank you everybody for being here and I'm already sharing my screen. Can you see that? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. So I'm going to talk about uh, WordPress.com as an option for hosting. 
and I work as Joe already introduced me. I work as a happiness engineer for Automatic, and I provide support for people who are building their websites with WordPress.com. It's already been four years, and I do that through chat support, email, and we also have one some one-on-one -on -one sessions with customers. And we often have uh, people coming to, to support being confused between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. So WordPress.org, you are mostly probably more familiar with it. So it's the free software that you can download and install it anywhere you want. We call that self-hosting because you get to choose where to host your site. And we call that self-manage as well because you are in charge of all aspects of your site. So I like to compare it like uh, buying a house, for example. So WordPress.org would be like buying a house. And when you buy a house, you have the freedom to do whatever you want with your house. You can knock down the walls. Like you can, I don't know, rent the garage to a band, for example, or uh, I don't know, build an extension or even keep a lion in your backyard. Uh, but when something is gets broken, like for example, the heat, you have to fix it yourself or call somebody who can do that for you. While WordPress.com would be more or less like renting an apartment in a complex building where you don't have to worry about uh, the pipes getting frozen or mowing the backyard, uh, you have a landlord for that who will take care of that for you. Okay, so uh, so since uh, like I was saying, uh, WordPress.com would be like managed hosting, and some of the characteristics, for example, are that it's or when you open your account, it's already installed there. Uh, in different from other hosts, you have to uh, install it, maybe have to run the installer, set up cer certain configurations, and other also on other hostings, sometimes you're able to install other other CMSs, other content management systems, while on WordPress.com, of course, is only WordPress, which means the platform has been optimized for WordPress only. Uh, there are several, the, the, the features vary between plans, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about that. For, for example, the ability to install external plugins, it's only available on certain plans, and I'm going to explain more about that. And the security and maintenance is already handled by us, which means that you don't have to worry about uh, installing plugins for security or plugins that let you run security checks, security scans. Then there's also one very interesting aspect that is support because we provide support not only as a host, but in uh, in WordPress usage in general. So whether you are a very basic user and you're starting to learn, we will help you and guide you understanding and learning WordPress from very simple things like how to add an image, how to add a blog, or even giving you tips uh, on how to select, uh, what, how you can select a theme for your purposes, some SEO tips, like how you can organize content. So we provide all that kind of support. And another important, very important feature is that we include Jetpack from the very, from actually at, across all plans. In the lowest plans, we have some Jetpack essentials and the copy option that Joe was mentioning is actually part of the Jetpack essentials that are included in WordPress.com. And then at higher plans, uh, we have, uh, for example, uh, Jetpack Professional, which already has very interesting features. So I'm going to talk a little bit about plans, not because I want to sell plans, but because uh, the availability of features are different from one plan to the other. And I'm going to start with the free plan. And well, it's actually the free option because uh, it's not a plan, you actually don't pay for it. So it includes some features like, for example, the Jetpack Essentials, which I'm going to explain in the next slide. Then you have dozens of free themes that are already there. You don't have to worry about downloading and installing them. You only have to click activate. Uh, you have some limited storage because it's a free, it's a free option. Then of course the hosting is included in the, in the plan. You don't have to worry about getting a hosting for your site or your blog. Uh, since domains involve uh, 
having a cost. They are not included in this plan, but you get to use a subdomain, like an address, like for example, mysite.wordpress.com. That's an example that you can use, for example. And um, believe it or not, I see, I've seen uh, several bloggers with very high traffic sites and uh, with blogging for several years who are using the free plan without programs. And I've also seen some business owners, small business owners who maybe don't have a budget and they also build very basic sites on this plan as well. You will also see some ads and sponsored posts from our side and that's to compensate for the free hosting. Okay, so uh, these are the Jetpack essentials that are included in the free plan. And I'm going to demo a little bit more about them later. So for example, when you sign up or when you already start and you have a, a, free, uh, a free plan, you have some sharing buttons, you have the like button, you have the option to publicize to automatically to social media. Uh, then you have some themes already installed there that you have where you can find the option try and customize without having to activate the theme. You have a kismet to uh, monitor the spam on your messages, on your contact form, on your, um, on your comments as well. Then you have some extra Jetpack widgets like subscription widgets, social icons. There's an activity log which helps you uh, if you are m having several people on a, on a website, like several admins and editors, so you can see the log of which uh, person or who, which person has done what, like that can be useful in certain situations. Then you have stats as well without having to install any plugin. You have some extra blocks like for contact forms, you don't have to install a plugin for uh, to get a contact form, for example. Options to copy posts, infinite scroll, uh, sitemaps and uh, the options to post by email, related posts. Then you get custom post types like testimonials or portfolios as well. They are included as well in the free plan. And your media library looks a little bit different from a self-hosted site because it has an integration with Google Photos and the Pexels uh, free library. And uh, there's also the reader, which I'm going to show you as well, which is very interesting in WordPress.com because it's a section where you can actually explore other websites on other blogs that are in maybe the same topic or area that your site is about. So it's a good option for people to find your site and or your blog, for example. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit what I'm talking about. And first I'm going to change screens. So. Okay, so if I go uh, to uh, WordPress, Dot com and this is just very basic and oh, okay my browser is in Spanish <laughs> don't worry we're going to switch that but you will just go to wordpress.com and you would see the options to uh, sign up to get started and you only are led to create a new account and very high verify your account and that's the whole process and I'm not going to show you that. So I'm going to go to a browser where I'm already loaded into my wordpress.com account. So just one second. And okay. So this is already my account. And uh, when I, I have several sites under this, um, under this account. So I'm just going to click switch sites because that lets me see an option at the bottom to add a new site. So, um, okay, so that's letting me add a new site. And then it, it has like a way to uh, an onboarding process that it's a little bit different because it, the idea is to help you uh, start creating your site just from the beginning. So I'm just going to skip for now, like it's just giving me options like how to start and then it gives me some examples of some things so I don't have to start from blank. Like I already get to have a for example, a theme and then choose maybe some type of font and check how this looks on a tablet, on a mobile phone. And well, I'm just going to continue. And then it tells me uh, to choose a domain. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to write something uh, random right now. And it will, it will always give me um, 
a free option like you can see here and of course if i choose one of the options here it means that i already have to get a plan because it already includes a domain so just for the purpose of this demo i'm going to choose this free option here and i'm just going to go continue and i'm going to skip all these features that will also let you to a plan so i'm going to skip them and um well i'm suggested to take a free plan but there's always an option for the free one here and i'm building my site Okay, so we're just going to give it a moment. Okay, it should be ready. Just a couple of moments more. Okay, there it is. So I'm actually drawn into my homepage <laughs> so I can start customizing this, but I'm just going to exit this and I'm just going to go back to the dashboard. So probably one thing that you will notice is that it looks different from WordPress.org. So if you are worried about that, don't worry, there's an option to go to the classic uh, editor. We call that the classic editor, WP admin, that's at the bottom. And uh, that's how you would access to the to the old editor if you are more used to it. But I'm going to close this one because the, the most of the features that are included actually in WordPress.com are better, uh, are, you can better access from this dashboard. And one of the things you will notice here is that at, at the top you have the reader. Okay, so that's the famous reader that I was telling you about. And uh, you, you are able to find other people or other sites and uh, that are also in WordPress.com. And for example, if you are looking for culture, you will be able to sort of find some uh, blogs and or websites that are into that. So all your posts, all your uh, pages and everything is published here. So if you add the correct tags and categories, people will be able to find you. So that's also a great uh, place to uh, for people to discover your site. So I'm just going to go back to my sites and then you will notice this dashboard is more is very similar to the other, maybe a little bit <laughs> different, but for example, you have the option for stats and I'm in the free plan. So you can monitor your stats already without having to um, integrate to another service or install a plugin for that. Of course, since this is a new site, we have no activity yet. The options for plans here and everything will uh, let you to uh, uh, sort of edit your pages, your posts. Uh, design is the same as appearance in WP Admin. And for example, when you go to themes, uh, you will see actually that you have already here several themes. And I can even click show all themes and I'm going to filter them by free because we are in the free plan. And you will notice that although we are in the free plan, there is actually a good selection there. So you can check any of those. And um, for example, if you choose uh, one of these themes, like the, the first ones are usually the latest ones, like the newest ones that have taken the WordPress editor, in, sorry, the blog editor into account. So for example, when I choose one of these ones, I only have to click activate and I get some information about it, some specifications and what blocks have been used uh, for this theme, for example. So, and if you get to uh, choose one of the older themes, uh, which they should be maybe, uh, maybe this one, I think it's older, yes. And then when you uh, open the live demo, there's an option here that says try and customize. So you're able to see how your site will look on this theme without having to activate it. And that will lead you, uh, if I click here, try to customize, it's going to take me to the customizer where I can sort of see how my site looks there without having to activate it. So that's also very useful. I'm going to go back here and um, under we have also oh, sorry that's the things we have the option the customizer which i was telling you so um we're just going to wait for it to load a little bit okay so we have of course the options that are 
uh, that apply to this theme, the, the one that we are using right now. And when you go to widgets, you will notice that we actually add some extra widgets than the default ones, and those are part of Jetpack Essentials. So for example, uh, you will see options uh, here like to follow your blog or the follow button, which we call the subscription widgets. And that's in a free plan, for example. And of course, it doesn't have to say follow blog. You can change the text to subscribe to my news or subscribe to my articles or something like that. There are other widgets that are also coming from Chatpack, like for example, the Facebook page plugin, which lets you sort of embed like a small Facebook in your site. And there are others, of course, that are coming from Chatpack, like social links and um, I think they are around here. Yeah, the social icons, for example, without having to install a plugin, Twitter timeline, and those ones. Okay, and I think there's the Instagram there somewhere above. And going, it's just an example of the extra widgets that you already have uh, from the very, very basic plan, the free plan. And of course, some of the options are not available at the free plan, like plugins, and I'm going to uh, talk a little bit more about that later you will notice there are some additional options that are different from the wordpress.org area which are the marketing and the earn a section so the marketing for example you will see that you have some options for example uh to add related posts like those posts that show at the bottom when you are for example you visit a specific post and then you have some suggestions at the bottom those are the related posts and then you have some um, sections here to verify certain services like uh, the ones like Google and those ones below as well. But the interesting ones are the connections here and that's the publicize option. And that lets you uh, connect to these social media. So the idea is for example, if I connect to Facebook, each time I post a new article that's going to, pub to be published automatically to uh, Face to your Facebook page and the same happens with this uh, Twitter and the well the social media that you choose to connect to so that's already connected then uh, you have some options here for sharing buttons as well and uh, you get to choose uh, like which sharing buttons you want to add for example here like um, you know maybe link it in and then you choose which ones you want in which style and where do you want them to show so those 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 options are already available starting from the free plan and then uh, in the earn option oh, yeah i'm going to leave this without uh, saving changes the earn option well for the free plan it's a little bit restricted because those are the options that let you for example monetize your site or get some premium blocks and i'm going to explain them a little bit later and well then you have some options here that i'm not going to go into it uh, whenever you are editing your posts for example like, or your pages is the same you have the option always to copy your page or copy your post that's the same in posts as well and when you are editing your home page it uh, will have the blog editor by default and i'm um, just going to wait for it i'm just going to show you that uh, okay so this is your blog editor and it's already um it has already added some content from the theme I've chosen, but if I click here, change layout, and then I will be able to actually see more options. Um, okay, it's just taking some time. Okay, there. So you can choose maybe another layout, like some options that we already include here that you can choose. Okay, I'm just going to exit this one so you don't have a, uh, we don't, Get, we don't stay there <laughs> choosing in between better several options so when you add a blog there are already some extra blocks and you can actually see them better when you click this uh, the plus icon here there are jetpack specific ones and I'm just going to go the ones with the green button well the earned ones are in higher plans but they get to see other blocks that are already included there. Like for example, contact forms and several types of forms that you can already include into your site without having to install any plugins. So that's very interesting and that's in a free plan. Okay, and when you add a new image, and I was going to show you that for example, and I'm going to add the image block just to show you. 
So it seems there's only a bit of delay each time I click something. It might be my connection, sorry about that. And uh, so you have some options, right? So you can um, select some images, for example, and then you have you can connect maybe from your Google Photos or your Pexels free library. And that's very useful when you don't have any images. Like you can basically just search for something there and just bring some images that are available for um, that have a license to use them as free okay so that would be it regarding uh, this demo i'm going to go back to the presentation so i'm just going to leave this without saving any changes mm, let me switch okay yeah so uh, we're back here and I'm going to, don't worry, I'm not going to demo all plans. <laughs> that would take me a long, a long time. So I'm just going to go quickly through the others and I'm just going to show you one more of them so you can see what happens when all the options sort of become activated with one, with one of the higher plans. So you have the personal plan and since it's already a paid plan, uh, free domains already included in the first year and you can map as many domains as you want and SSL certificates are included for all your domains. Then you have higher storage, then you have email support from us. Of course, there are no sponsor ads that you were probably see in the free plan. Those are removed because you are already on a paid plan. And there are some additional blocks like the payments block. This is maybe an interesting option that probably you haven't heard about it, but it's just a block that lets you add a payment button. It connects with the Stripe. So it's very simple for somebody who's trying to sell something on their website without having to set up a whole online store with WooCommerce. So that's a very interesting option. Then you have the premium plan, which of course has a higher plan. It has more than 100 premium themes already included. Then you have uh, Word Ads. Word Ads is our monetization program, and it lets you receive earnings from ads being displayed on your site. Then you have a uh, chat support from us, CSS support. If you need CSS to change something in your theme, you don't have to know anything about CSS. We will just give you the CSS that you need, and you only have to copy and paste it in your CSS section. Then you have some more premium blocks like the payments block in the personal one. In the premium one, you have some options like pay with PayPal, premium content block and other donate block, for example. The premium content, for example, it's more or less like a subscription option because it lets people access certain content of a page of a post only after they paid. So they subscribe, they see the payment option. It also connects, it works with Stripe. And once they subscribe, they are able to receive, uh, they are able to access the restricted content. So it's more, I, I like to say like, it's more or less like um, maybe um, a mixture between a restrict content plugin and a membership site, more or less like that. Then you have uh, scheduled social media updates. Like if you have uh, already published several posts, you can ske schedule to reshare them again, like maybe to move more information more to social media. You have video press CDN, meaning that you can upload as many videos as you want without having to worry about taking a storage from your site or making it uh, slower, for example. Then there's the Google Analytics integration as well. And then the two higher plans, which are business and e-commerce. And I'm just um, merging them into one section, uh, into one slide, sorry. So you have, of course, a higher storage uh, to 200 gigas. And then the ability to install third party plugins and themes comes in these uh, two plans. You have the SFTP access, you have some advanced SEO tools for now, but if not, you can install your own plugin. Then uh, since these plans already include Jetpack professional features, you get some automated, uh, you get automated backups that are coming from Jetpack and one click rewinds and restores that let you restore your site to any point in the past, like two days ago, one month ago, and there's no limitation in the backups. And then you have also the chat support 24 seven, which means you can contact us on a Sunday um, or whenever you want. And since we, our team is uh, globally distributed. We, it's very possible that you're always going to find somebody there because we are all around the world. 
Yeah, and I'm just going to show you the business plan. So you can, the, the difference between the business and e-commerce plan is that e-commerce is already comes with WooCommerce installed, which you can also do on the business, but it also comes with additional plugins from WooCommerce. There are, they are specific WooCommerce plugins. Some, most of them are paid plugins and those are included already in the e-commerce plan. But all, you can also do uh, the same on the business plan, but with the plugins that you choose to use. Okay, so I'm just going to switch screens again. Um, yeah. So uh, in this example side, I'm just going to upgrade it very quickly. Just going to use the business. And so you can see what options we have on the same side. So, so okay, I'm paying with some credits here. Uh, okay, and Okay, so I have some information there. And okay. Oh, okay, so now I'm doing it on my own. Sorry, and the, the Zoom option is covering me at the, the bottom side of the, the screen. Okay, it's already there, viewing my new features. Okay, so right now I'm already on a business plan in this example side that I was uh, telling you. And uh, so you will notice, for example, when I go to manage and I go to hosting configuration, then I can already activate my access to SFTP, for example. And then I have an, a section for domains as well, where I can manage my domains from here. So I can add a domain to this side. And in the same section, I will see the options to update my DNS records, to add email forwarding, forwarding or even at email hosting maybe from another service like i don't know google works are i think now they've changed names not just suite anymore it's the workplace or something like that okay so you get to add your email and manage your dns records there and or your domain mappings as well okay and um one thing that I, I forgot, and since we are already here, is that uh, that that was also available in the free plan. So you have to trust me that it was there before we upgrade it. And it's when you go to this uh, writing section, there's an option to enable custom post types, content post types, that's testimonials and portfolios. And those are very useful as well. And you will see them showing here, testimonials and portfolios. So that was also there from the, from the beginning of the plan. And uh, when you start checking, for example, I'm just going to go to one of the pages. Uh, I'm just going to create one post actually, it's better. And I'm going to show you that some extra blocks have been added. And uh, it's taking me just a little bit, okay. So when I add a new blog, uh, this one is getting lost a little bit with the back background there. So I'm going to use this one, the blue one. And uh, you, will new, you will see that you already have some options here. You have all the Jetpack blocks already available. So those, uh, for example, the premium content one that I was telling you, the pay with PayPal, and then you have some very interesting options here to donate. So you don't have to install plugins for some of these features. So it's already included there. And uh, that's one of the interesting options that you have here. And then I'm going to just leave this. And for example, uh, well, just, uh, testimonials and portfolios have been here added. Then the, there is the activity log that was also available in the uh, free plan that I forgot to show you. It just lets you know who has done what. And like I mentioned before, if you have several admins and editors and you're just trying to find out who did something in, in a specific, you can see here the log. And then you have, of course, the options to backup. So I have to activate it now because I just upload, I just upgraded to business. But you will start seeing your backups here, and then you just get to choose other uh, options to select and um, search for a backup. And then to you will see the option rewind, which lets you restore to that point in time. Okay, so of course, in the customize, the customizer doesn't change much other than adding some additional CSS here. 
So, and uh, I'm not going to show you that. So I'm going to exit very quickly. You of course are getting more themes like all the premium ones, but you can also install your uh, own external theme without any problem here. And then you have plugins, which is very useful. And then you can install any plugin that you have here. So only have to click activate. So I'm just going to uh, pass through that section. And uh, well, in the earn section, you will see, you will actually see, uh, see that you have all these options active now, like you collect payments and all these options are when you use these blocks, the payments blocks, the premium blocks where you are collecting payments and you can manage them from here. And then for example, you have, um, here, I'm going to move this around. Uh, you have the the ads uh, section, and I'm sorry, just the Zoom window is not le letting me see some of my screen. You have the earn and ad revenue, and that's when you activate more ads. This is the section where you come and check your earnings. You only have to add a PayPal email when you will receive all the payments. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm going to go back to uh, to finish the last slides of my presentation. And so, uh, other things to 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 also mention here is like I was telling you, one of the main characteristics of WordPress.com is the support because, I, like I mentioned before, it's not long, only as a host. If you install plugins and they break your site, you can always contact us to help you fix the issue. And uh, also, if you are using WooCommerce, for example, WooCommerce is is one of uh, is a product from Automatic. So we support WooCommerce as well. So we will help you uh, set up your store and uh, with any questions you have regarding WooCommerce. Uh, so from like I was mentioning before, it's uh, it, it comes at the, the support. It's at every level, and even if you're starting, uh, you're starting from from the very beginning, and you don't know anything about WordPress. We are there to guide you step by step, and even hand holding you in all the process. So we have also we provide webinars and online courses, of course, all the time. We have some quick start sessions, which are one on one sessions, Zoom sessions with customers where we get together with a customer and uh, we help them with their questions that they have. This is a paid option just in case. So if you need uh, more technical information like the server itself, oops, sorry, I'm going to show you very quickly, you can access this link. So I'm going to open it and I'm going to uh, switch the sharing so you can see my browser. I don't know if you, there's no way to, okay, you should be seeing my browser, I think. We so this is, yeah? Yes. Okay, great. So uh, here's more technical details about the hosting itself. Like uh, we already, take care of the WordPress version. Like we don't have to worry about updating it. It's automatically done for you. And we are on engines, uh, engine server. And then we have the options for the PHP version and the limits. And maybe you can explore if you want to know more about that, like what things are included as a, a server itself. So I'm going to switch back <laughs> to my presentation. And uh, okay, so, um, this is also very important because uh, there are some incompatible plugins and uh, that's also something to take care into account. And I'm also going to show you this because it's also very important and uh, quickly going to do this correctly. So, okay. Okay, so uh, we have a list of incompatible plugins and um, most of them are, I'm going to just uh, scroll to them. So uh, catching plugins, uh, they are not, uh, we don't allow them because we already take care of the catching. So we, anything that is installed for catching, it, it is only caching, it only conflicts with us. Then backup plugins because Jetpack already takes care of that. So we don't allow some SQL heavy plugins as well. They are listed here. That database file system altering plugins are also listed here. Some email plugins. 
Some automated content plugins are also not allowed here, and there's a miscellaneous tier of plugins that are not allowed or incompatible with us. Okay, and um, going back here, and so Jetpack is very important if you notice. So if you are in on the higher plans where you can install plugins, and you find, for example, that uh, you already use your own plugins for security, for backups and maintenance, and they conflict with Jetpack. So in that situation, uh, there's no way to remove Jetpack. So uh, maybe WordPress.com wouldn't be a good option in that situation. So we have also some terms of service, like some content that is not allowed, and that's in that link. Like, uh, for example, we don't allow pornography sites, for example. Uh, so when is WordPress.com a good option for you? And I've written here some examples. So for example, uh, when you are a business owner and you don't have a, a budget to hire somebody to do this for you, to a developer or a freelancer, and you want to do it on your own, but you need like a support there, uh, somebody to help you step by step. So that's a good option for you. Or when you are learning WordPress in general and would prefer that kind of support that will help you learn how to use and understand all the features. Uh, also, when maybe when you want, uh, you already know WordPress, but you just want somebody to be in charge of all the technical stuff like updating software, with PHP versions, backups, security scans, maintenance. Uh, we have some people who have several sites, who build several sites for their customers, and they come to WordPress.com because they just want somebody who will take care of all this stuff. And they also know that if their customers have any questions regarding using or adding some content, they will also find the option to, uh, to or the support to help them as well. And then when, well, I, I actually see this as, as a plus, like you have every, you can manage everything in the same place, like uh, your domains, for example, your DNS records, you don't have to use other options, I don't know, like cPanel, for example. And when might WordPress.org be better for you? So that's also uh, very useful for people who just really want to get their hands dirty, meaning they want to uh, run the installer, set up some specific settings when installing WordPress, which I've seen in some of my friends, for example. And you want to be in charge of everything related to backups, maintenance. So maybe you already know your own plugins for this, for doing all the security and you are used to them and you prefer to use them, then maybe uh, WordPress.org might be a better option for you and you want all the flexibility when installing plugins i know i have shown you that list of incompatible plugins so if you don't want to have any restrictions so um, you can always uh, try uh, you, you can choose wordpress.org in that situation and yeah so i hope uh, this presentation has been helpful and i don't know if you have any questions Thank you. That was very, very good. Thank you so much. Like I said, I, I've, I mentioned I had experience with our personal site. Earlier in the year, too, there was a, a hackathon uh, that was down in uh, central Los Angeles for Rebuild LA. And we uh, formed teams of, there was a developer, a designer, and someone from Automatic. Uh, and we were given a site on WordPress.com to build for a nonprofit. Uh, one of the local areas uh, teams and it was a great opportunity and seeing all the demos uh, you sort of <laughs> took me back down memory lane so we have a few questions uh, for you if you're ready to take them yeah, sure all right so the first question and I'll work in reverse order um, Steve asks, can you use page builders like Elementor with wordpress.com yes you can those are plugins so it means you would have to have a business or e-commerce plan, but you can definitely use them. Oh, and then I noticed that only the top two tiers allow you to do any plugin you want, correct? Yes, that's okay. correct. All right. And then I had a question. I, I've heard of video press. I haven't used it that much. Why use video press instead of YouTube or something like that? What's the big benefit? Well, that depends actually i might i might not have the best explanation for this but what i've seen from customers is that, is that sometimes they just want to upload a specific content from their side and they won't don't want it on a available on a platform like youtube for example because it would have to be not it would have to be public 
<laughs> you know, not a, it, you can't embed from a private YouTube channel. So some people just want to use their own content in their own site without having to um, go to other platforms. So, and since it's already hosted with us, it's like it's not taking storage from your site. So that's a good option. Okay. Um, also, um, can you make your slides available or are those proprietary? Yeah, can yeah, definitely. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, because I, I have some links there that I was actually uh, thinking like, how can I get these links to, 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 the, to the people? Yeah, I, I was trying to type some in and, and share them, but I <laughs> No, I, I, I am that. going to definitely send it to you. Awesome. And then you answered it, but I, I thought I'd ask it again so you could reiterate it. So it sounds like you can install your own theme at certain levels. Is that the top two tiers too? If you had your own theme that was outside the wordpress.com repository, what, what plans would work with that? You would need business or e-commerce. Okay. All right. Thank you. And what do you use to secure the wordpress.com sites? Like, you know, a lot of folks are familiar with the uh, word fences or I theme security. What does wordpress.com use? Is it something proprietary or do you use a, a plugin of some sort? It's proprietary. <laughs> Sorry, I just have words. I know that's a tongue uh, twister in a, in a, a second. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but uh, yes, we, we already include that. So, um, and the security checks, the scans, they also come from Jetpack site. Okay, okay. And so you don't have, and I know you mentioned you don't need cPanel, um, do you need FTP access or anything like that? Or is everything browser-based with WordPress.com? If you need uh, FTP access, you would also have to be on the higher plans. But uh, I mean, that also depends because I've seen people like requesting or upgrading, for example, to business plan to get SFTP access to install a plugin but you really don't need to do that through <laughs> SFTP. So, yeah, so okay, that it depends on what you want to use. And you know, for, for folks of us in the WordPress community, we always hear the horror stories about Wix or Squarespace or something like that, not being able to pull your information out and port it somewhere else. Do you have to worry about that with WordPress.com? Do you have the ability to pull your content down once you've been hosted? Yeah, we, that's actually very good. Uh, thing that I didn't mention, I totally forgot, but we have our own importers. So when you are importing for Wix, for example, you just follow this, the steps import, you get to choose uh, which uh, we, we, we have the most popular ones, and then you just write the name and it will try to just import uh, almost uh, most of it, most that it can be imported. Okay, so, so there are some yeah. bugs with, because I guess they have their own proprietary system too, which makes it difficult yeah. to pull it in. Yeah, we, we have. Like we try to explain and um, clarify that to our customers that they are different platforms. So we will try to inform most of it, but <laughs> we don't guarantee like all the content itself. Like uh, maybe if you're using something specific over there, it's going to work here, but we have the importers for that. Okay. Um, Steve, why don't you jump in and ask your follow-up question? It's a follow-up to the Elementor theme question. Yeah, so um, just, just to make sure that I'm clear, the business is, uh, 25 bucks a month billed annually, so it's $300. And the e-commerce, 45 a month for, a, you know, billed annually, so 540 a year. Are the only plans that allow for like Elementor and Astro themes, correct? Yes, those are the two plans that are. Okay, I just want to make sure, because I because I have people that ask me things like, you know, what's hosting, what's this, that, everything. Some guys want to do it by themselves. Someone want to use my already host, you know, in this area of things. So I just want to make sure that I had the pricing right. So I don't want to misquote or, you know, whatever. So, okay, cool. All right, Lynn, you want to jump on and ask your question? Uh, yeah, thanks. Um, I was wondering, uh, you had mentioned uh, earlier in the presentation that uh, once you publish something on wordpress.com, you can have it set up that it will automatically go out to your social media feeds, which I think is great. But what happens if you make a mistake <laughs> in the article and, you, you know, you, you put down a, a link wrong or, or had a horrible typing and, and you went back and you corrected it? Will it automatically republish your correction or do you need to do something special or go out to all the social media sites and fix it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So it's already if if, if you when you, when it goes to Facebook, it's like it's already there on Facebook. Like for example, right? So there's no way for us to control and sort of retrieve it back. <laughs> so my best advice, uh, what I usually do, is just uh, go to the social media. If if it's something we uh, recently, you can just remove it from your social media. So there's no way to do that from the WordPress side. But mm -hmm. from the WordPress side, you can update the post and, uh, for example, and you can reshare it again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. No problem. I, I love that uh, feature, by the way. And it's that's available if you have jetpack on .org too. So yeah, we use it at Metro. Um, and the great thing about it is if you're unfamiliar with it, it creates, like if you send to Facebook, it'll create the Facebook card and it'll have the branded look that a card yeah. has on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. So it's not like it's just dumping a text block in for you. It dumps in, it pulls your feature image and, a, and it styles yeah. the card based on whatever social media platform you're on. So it allows you to repurpose your information with one click. So it's, it's really an awesome feature. Yeah. And actually, uh, when you are about to publish it, you will see the option, like maybe you've forgotten that it's connected to social media for some reason, and then you don't want it to be <laughs> posted, like maybe it's a post that you don't want it out there. You will see like a, a second time it asks you, it's connected to this social account. And then you even have a field for the excerpt where you can actually modify what's going to be shared to social media. And so that's very useful. Awesome. Uh, cool. and, and then uh, Rich had a question. He asked, uh, do you have US-based tech support? Yes, we do. <laughs> um, just, yeah, we are around the world, of course, but it, we have, I think, 50% of the people are actually in the US that support people. So, yeah, we do. Awesome. And um, I want to open it up to the floor to see if anyone else has questions before we wrap it up here. Uh, this is Lynn again. I was wondering about your servers. Uh, I imagine you have a bunch of them in Southern California. Uh, but what happened? Do you ever get it kind of clogged up if you have a bunch of customers resident on a server close to them? You know, like we're all in LA or, or we're all up in the Bay Area <laughs> or, or something like that. Yeah, so we have servers all around the world and there is a link that maybe I can try to search later and I can include it in the slide so you can see more information about this. But we have servers around the world and we don't have, for example, as a, as a hosting, we are very good uh, with, we don't have any restrictions with, with traffic and maybe that's something that you find some, sometimes in other hosts, but we never have this kind of issues like we just uh, like <laughs> I don't know, like some, like you said, something gets filled up and then everything falls down. No, we've never had that that experience until not in the four year four years that I've been working. Okay, great, awesome. So, so be, before we we let you go, um, do you have any uh, tidbits or sneak peeks of uh, new features or anything? What what's coming down the road for WordPress.com? Uh, I think, yeah, may, I don't know if I can talk to, about too many of them. <laughs> okay. I, may, I think some of them are in their initial step and okay. I don't want to be telling too much about them before they are out there. But awesome. there are definitely going to be very good improvements to the blog editors and how things work with them in general. So that's maybe you already know a little bit more about this, but yeah, so it's going to go like the block editor is going to go really big. <laughs> awesome. All right. So if I'm going to uh, let you go, uh, if anyone has one, any questions for, for Carla, uh, you can send them to me via meetup and I could share them. Uh, if you don't mind, Carla, if you could provide the, the link to your, your slides, I'll share that as well. I'll share the video. Um, and then I have a, a couple of more announcements before we go, but I'll let you take, take take good care and have a good evening thank, thank you, you very much me. thank you very much and thank you joey especially for giving me this opportunity and it was very nice being here so thank you everybody and awesome. have a day bye see ya all right so i'm going to take over the screen share and close out the meeting so what did everybody think like i said most people don't know 
that WordPress.com is a host in the same way that a GoDaddy or Green Geeks or those are. Um, next, uh, a week from today, uh, during the lunch hour, uh, we're going to talk WooCommerce with uh, Bob WP, a.k.a. Bob Dunn. Uh, if you're familiar with the WordPress community, he has a, a big podcast. He does a lot in terms of WooCommerce, and he's going to share uh, some of his um, insights on WooCommerce ecosystem. Uh, next month, we're also going to have someone else from WooCommerce uh, visit our meetup. He's one of the uh, sales folks at WooCommerce, and we're going to talk a little bit more about the product. I know for me personally, um, I have a WooCommerce site that I want to finish and build out. Um, I think our next few meetups, we're going to, I'm going to try to do some sort of hands-on stuff uh, so that we can learn a little more about the, the product itself. So next week at lunchtime, uh, he's going to drop in and talk to us about that product. Um, so with that, um, I'll open it up to the floor. Let me know what you thought about the the meetup, any any closing remarks or any announcements? Hey, Joe. Yeah. Uh, this is Lynn. Um, do you mind or is it okay to share these videos with other people? Oh, from the meetups? Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, it's oh, public. Okay. Yeah, it's open okay. source. So just um, wanted to make sure. I'll make this. Uh, it usually takes me a couple of days to get the video up. It should be up by Saturday. And you're, you're more than welcome to share it with whoever you need to. Yeah, because I, I find it very helpful to go over it again, you know, things that I might have missed. And also, if there's other people that are interested in, then they could experience the video at least firsthand. Oh, okay, great. And I know, and I, I sort of agree with you, Steve, it's, it's more expensive, but I think it goes back to the, the peace of mind thing. I know there's so many people that want to do it themselves, but if... You know, most businesses don't want to do it themselves. They'd rather have somebody else take right. care of it. It's cheaper than hiring me, so it's not such a bad idea. <laughs> oh, it's some competition for you, huh? Well, I mean, that's it, right? Like, I charge that much a month, basically, to, to, to maintain sites. And, and, uh, and um, you know, that, 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 that's, but I mean, I thought, geez, I could never resell it. I mean, that's just too, I mean, that's too expensive. I don't, I can do three sites for less money on, like, InMotion or, you know, Liquid Web or something. I mean. Yeah. 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 I, I think, I think for me, like if I want, if I was a business person, especially now during the pandemic, one thing I found that so many businesses didn't have curbside pickup or call in or order online. It seems like if you're, you can work with wordpress.com to use all those blocks to get some payments online, just like that. Which is um, cool. I thought that was really cool. Cause those, 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 those payment blocks, I mean, that's, you know, that, that's, that's a little trickier to do on a self-hosted, I mean, yeah. you know, and that's why I haven't, and that's why I haven't pushed my site live is that I'm a little nervous. I want to make sure everything works because I have yeah, people's credit yeah, card I, information. It's, it's, it's tough. So what I, what actually on my, my own one site that I have, um, uh, I have a thing for sale and I just used a form from uh, jot form that takes payments on the jot form form. And I just, I put that in there, you know, as the form to do the order form because integrating the, the, the anything like woo or anything into WordPress is kind of, it's tricky, you know, I mean, you got to mess around and, and I didn't have time to mess around. So I just wanted it up there. So I used a form to, to do the order, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's really, that is cool with the dot com uh, thing. I thought that was neat. Awesome. And then I want to turn it over to Larry to play us out. Yeah, man. Let's do it. <laughs> Unless there are any other comments. Uh, you know, the, 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 the neat thing that she showed, I think, of the whole thing is that the package that she has I mean, Jetpack's expensive, SSL's expensive, you know, it all costs, adds up and stuff. And most people don't even realize what the end cost is at the end of the day when you actually secure one of these sites. So I, I saw some value in that. I'm sure most people did if they, they did the math on it. Yeah, I think, you know, and I think as independent or solopreneur business, you know, solopreneurs, um, we always create our own package, which we then, you know, we leverage that you know, to, to charge our customers, but, right. you know, wordpress.com, you know, because it's sort of like McDonald's, they can give you a happy meal cheaper than making your own <laughs> meal kind of thing. So right. that's the downside of wordpress.com is that they bundled it in a nice inexpensive package. If you, if you're looking to make money off of it. So yeah, the old saying you want fries with that shake, right? That's right. <laughs> awesome. But, but the good thing about it is that it gives somebody who 
might have a little bit of skill, the opportunity to use all of those different packages and packets and stuff, you know, and, and have a bit of support if you need it as well. So, you know, you can advance yourself as a programmer in a sense, because, you know, you can, especially if you play around with it a lot, if you're like working with it. So, so it's a really a, a good package to wordpress.com for someone who's just coming up who can't afford, especially in this, you know, time right now to like, you know, like pay a lot of people to do a lot of stuff. I mean, you know, like, for example, building a music site, a lot of musicians haven't worked in almost a year now. You can't even go out and sing and play live right now. And it, and, it, and that'll probably be the last thing we're allowed to do, you know, as we come back from the pandemic. So, you know, it's it's a good it's a good formula that she has there with the WordPress.com. Awesome. All right. So tell us <laughs> a little bit about your music and tell us what you're going to play us out with. I play all kinds of stuff, but I think I'm going to play one of the first songs I ever learned, a tune called 900 Miles. It's an old traditional folk song, and I've been playing it my whole life, and I'm still learning how to play it. <laughs> oh, so I have a question, too. It's going to be included in the video unless you don't want me to, and I'll cut it out. Oh, one last oh I don't mind if it's in the video. Okay. Someone might look me up and, you know, go buy an MP3 or something. <laughs> Joe, is that going to be in the notes before to download it? For the videos, yeah, I'll, I'll put it on the events page. Oh, okay, okay. As well, it's a, it'll be on our social media as well. Cool. And if you search for Larry L A R R E E on iTunes or Amazon or all over the place, you might find some of my tunes. Anyway, okay, let me say, play you all yeah, out so you can go. I'll out say drop there. drop it in the chat just in case. You might you might have a few sales from this. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm walking down the track I got tears in my eyes Trying to read a letter from my home If this train will run me right I'll be home tomorrow night Nine hundred miles And I hate to hear that lonesome whistle blow Yeah, I hate to hear that lonesome whistle blow The train I ride on is a hundred coaches long train I ride on is a hundred coaches long. You can hear that whistle blow 900 miles. If this train will run me here, I'll be home tomorrow night. Tomorrow night.
Wow, incredible. Incredible. Thanks, Larry. Thank you. I'm glad you dug it. All right. That was great. Happy holidays, everyone. I'll, I'll see everyone next week, hopefully. That was awesome, Larry. I'm glad you all dug it. Thanks, Lynn, for doing, for doing this. Good night, everybody.